Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another official motor mic video on the World Wide Web. Today, I am back with this beautiful 2010 Ford Mustang named Priscilla. We have had this car for roughly about a year. About a year's time frame we have owned this automobile. And you probably haven't seen it in a while. Unfortunately, things have happened with this car. And we're gonna run through it in today's motor mic video. Also, it's the year anniversary of us doing motor mic things. Yes, we have been on YouTube for uh, one year. We are currently at 354. Yeah, I can do it on one hand. 354 subscribers. Can you believe that, guys? It might not sound like a lot to some people, but for me, if 354 people are watching me do this, then that's amazing. That's really awesome. But yeah, today we're gonna focus on the main star of this show, the motor mic vehicle itself the motor mic carriage of luxury that's 2010 ford mustang six cylinder without further ado let's get into this video let's take it for a drive and let's just have fun man it's the one year on youtube motor mic has been on the internet the internet the box you're watching in one year so here it is it's the 2010 ford mustang now it's kind of the black sheep of the mustang family because 2010 was known for being a little eh, what I mean by that, it's an older motor from the previous generation, but in a newer body style. Anyway, that's not what I'm trying to focus on today. Look at these 19 inch GT wheels, man, with the tie exclusive tire lettering that's peeling off. Look at that. So if you are an OG Motormix subscriber, you will remember that this car used to have those black V6 wheels and they look just horrendous with those on. But now. You see, now we have the wheels that complement the stripe. I'm sorry, my car is really dirty. It doesn't look it on camera, but it's like filthy. But we, we won't go too close. We got the stripe there and the silver wheels, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know? Oh, I'm so excited. Also, we have the addition. Now, this is gonna be very controversial. I got the Shelby GT350 badge. Why do I have that on a six cylinder base model? Well, that's off an actual Shelby. Uh, Hertz rent a racer car that's an actual shelby badge on the back of that okay so you know we got some pedigree on this on the v6 with the single legs exhaust also my antenna broke off i don't it's not a problem because i have apple carplay in my car aftermarket radio but you know it's a little nub now not not a whole lot left little nub little nub and besides that really the car has remained bone stock uh, I have no intentions of modding this car. It would be kind of honestly a waste of money if I put money into a four liter six owner. There's not a lot of whole aftermarket, maybe a tune, maybe. I feel like we could squeeze a few more ponies out the whip if we get a tune on there. But we'll see, that's all depending with time and stuff and money and blah, 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 boring adult stuff. You know, you have to be responsible now. The car is held up all right. Uh, nothing of my doing. I didn't personally break it. It's more of what's underneath there that keeps uh, breaking. So we're gonna pop the hood, and I'm gonna show you. Just um, I had to put a little money into it, just 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 a little bit. Okay, so under the hood of the glorious 4.0 liter Mustang V6, I had to change out quite a bit of stuff. Quite a bit of stuff. So my first real problem was what was it it was a spark plug issue yeah it was a spark plug issue so there was a between you and me there was a lot of deferred maintenance on this car uh i mean no fault of who, the dealer who sold it but it was there, there was a lot of deferred maintenance that i had to catch up on so that's why we haven't seen it in a while there was just a lot of stuff i had to you know just to tidy up a little bit starting off i remember if i recollect the spark plugs, obviously, because, you know, it's a, I think, 14-year-old car now. It's a 14-year-old car. Of course, you know, you got to change your spark plugs eventually. So I did plugs, I did coils, I did the coil pack. Well, I'm saying I did the coil pack. i too afraid to work on that. Look how confusing that looks. My boys at the shop, that the mechanic shop, they, they helped the brother out on that. But, yeah, let me get back to it. So it was coils, plugs, and pack right there. Then the fuel injectors went. So that, you know, was nice to take care of. Also, my coolant thermostat housing as well. Since it's made of plastic, that's brand new. But since it was made of plastic, that broke. And there was just a couple of 
couple of mechanical gremlins, but it was all like maintenance stuff, you know? It was all like general maintenance. Like if you own a car, you gotta, these things are eventually gonna go wrong. Personally, I think the 4.0 is a solid motor. Like for a starter car, like a starter sports car, just, and I know a lot of Fords have this motor, but if your Ford has this motor, like mechanically wise, it's been reliable. It was more of deferred maintenance that really brought this down. And overall, I mean, it's, it's in solid shape. Uh, you know, there's nothing modified about this. I'm not going to modify it. That would be just be throwing money at like a lost cause. Not nothing against the motor itself, but it, you know, it was, it was a four. It's, but this is serving its purpose well. It's my first sports car. Let's start off slow and simple. Let's, you know, let's get the feel of having a little power, rear wheel drive. And then the next Mustang, or you know, if I V8 swap this, no, nah, I'm just I'm, maybe we'll see, we'll see how successful motor Mike gets. We might do an eight swap on the channel if we hit, you know, a considerable amount of subscribers. So definitely subscribe below. Should be underneath the video somewhere. And overall, I'm gonna stop looking at a stock 4.0 liter Mustang, and we'll we'll go for the interior and the drive. So now inside the Mustang. A good old view. I bet the OG subscribers miss me whipping this thing about. But you know, the wheel's a little chewed up. It was like that before. This is just I don't know I don't know what kind of video I'm making today to be honest. It's like the motor mic one year recap combined with one year of owning this car. Because I started YouTube and I owned this car around the same time. So we're just we're just making a video here. I don't know what I'm gonna title this. But you know, the wheel's a little chewed up. That's not a problem. I don't care too much. It's still round at least. You know, nice blue gauges on there. The Apple CarPlay screen still works. Uh, I remember I talked about this in my very, very first video a year ago. So it works, you know. The wire sometimes gets a little finicky, but it hasn't been the case as of recently. And I have this aftermarket touchscreen thing up here as well. My climate control and all that. So, I mean, hey, you know, it's a lot better than the bone stock 2010. So overall, it's been a very solid car. There was a couple deferred maintenance things I wasn't crazy about, but it's gonna happen eventually. So I, I bit the bullet. I enjoy this car a lot. I love this car. This is a great first car for me, coming from like a Honda Civic or, you know, a 50 year old Volkswagen Bug. And this is just a great first sports car for anybody who's trying to get into cars. Don't sleep on the six-owner Mustangs, 4.0 or the 3.7s, because the, they're, they're, you know, they're solid cars for what they are and at an affordable price point. I bought this during COVID. No, I didn't buy it. My mommy, my, my mommy helped me buy the Mustang. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. It's my mommy's car, and we, I'm flexing mommy's whip right now. But hey, at least I'm honest about it. But we bought it during COVID. And the price got a little spiked up because the whole car market was all over the place. So there's better deals on these on like Facebook marketplace. So don't do what I did, okay? Live by my example. Do not do what I did. Do I regret it? No, it's a bright blue freaking Mustang. Look at that mini Mustang. Like the, the car, people at the car show have the mini car models. Cool, cool, cool. Do I regret it? No. Should I have been smarter about it? Yeah. But you see what happens is when you have a big blue beautiful car like this let's hop out the whip one more time let's see it but when you have a big blue beautiful car like this with the motor mic logo you know like how could you not fall in love at first sight like the hearts were in my eyes on that so yeah let's let's go for a drive now let's experience the 4.0 liter and all the power with the open differential one wheel peel Okay, we are in the 4.0, man. Point of view driving on the motorbike channel. And those wipers are really loud. But anyway, man, we are out. We are out in the four liter Mustang. But I just want to give a little personal message to everybody who's watched my video, subscribed to the channel, seen me do a short, seen me in real life. Thank you so much for all the support, generally. 354 people, that's a good amount of people right there. You could you could fill up an, a room or an area. That's that's like a good showing. And for people just hanging out and watching Motor Mike as I film on the GoPro, you should see my hair right now. I look like some octopus looking creature. But just people watching me having fun and I can get engagement and comments and you know, people 
going past memories of when they owned a Mustang or when they owned a Volkswagen Bug. Oh, if, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I have a 50 year old Volkswagen Beetle and it's been pretty much more reliable than this car so far. Sorry, my, Priscilla. And this car is also named Priscilla, you know. Is it weird to name your car? No, not at all. So go crazy with it. But it's nice to see people engage with you as a small content creator because that really helps you know build confidence and build a youtube channel up now by the way this is a similar route to what we took on the first motor make video it's a little snowy outside so we're not gonna be driving too crazy but we'll go for a little spin around the block we got gas but it's really nice to see people engage with smaller content creators you know it's it helps me out a lot both to come out and make these videos today because I'm not gonna lie, it's a little chilly out. It's not the greatest looking day. But I remember it, now that I have a little audience, I wanna create content for you guys and just have fun. Fortunately, obviously life gets in the way sometimes, so I'm not able to make a video every week like I intended to. So I'm gonna try to work on that this year. This is my New Year's resolution right here, to make a video at least once a week. Don't even care about the views, whatever. If a video gets five views, oh well. If a video gets a thousand, two thousand views, you know, I'm, I'll do a little chop just slide, but it's just, it's not about the views at the end of the day, I realize. It's about the passion of going out and just recording and having a good time, making memories for, you know, yourself and reminiscing about the days where you were young, wild, and free. I don't know what tangent I'm going on about, but I enjoy doing YouTube and that's all that matters, okay? There's people with better cameras or whatever, but the real reason why you watch Motor Mike, the real reason why you type in Motor Mike 88 on your search bar. Ooh, is that a five liter? No, it's clean though. Nah, well, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, I can't talk too much. I'm in a, I'm in a four liter Stang, but. Oh, a little Evo there, too. Ooh. Brembo brakes on that? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I just went on a side tangent about cars. I'm, you know, ADD and all that. The one thing I realized by doing YouTube and having fun and hanging out is that life's good, man. You know, li life is good. And you have to enjoy it for everything it throws at you, both good and bad. And YouTube has helped me out so much through that process. It really has. And I just wanted to come and say thank you for everybody who subscribed and everybody who's talked about the channel or shared a video or showed your friend or showed your grandma, your mama, your sister, your brother. Just, just everybody, thank you. Because I feel once somebody, uh, well, like a person hits a certain amount of subscribers and stuff, Numbers like 300, 400 sound so minimal and they're really not in reality. Like that's, <laughs> that's a lot of people watching, watching Mood or Mike or watching your channel in general. So be grateful for every single one. Every single sub you gotta be grateful for. And that's something I'm never gonna lose pace value of because at the end of the day, between you and me, I, I love doing this. I've always wanted to do YouTube. I've had the small gaming channels Let's check this out real quick. Camaro. Oh my, oh man. Doesn't look as good as I remember. What happened? Looks like it's somebody side swiped it, the poor car. You see, ADD kicked in again. Thank you so much for every single 354 people that subscribe to the channel. 2024, we got bigger dreams, bigger ambitions coming our way. Let's make things happen. Let's blow up this year. I want to try to get to 1,000 subs by the end of the year. That's my plan. If I can hit 1K subs, I would be ecstatic about that. Ecstatic about the 1,000 subscriber mark. Because to me, that is a real big deal. And if we get more people too, you know, we get more people. I can't complain one bit. But thank you guys so much for watching. Another official motor mic video on the World Wide Web. 
and I shall definitely see you guys in the next upload. Let's get a little peel out for the, for the YouTube. Ooh, letter E. You heard that? You heard that? Letter E. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.